Hey everybody, this is Austin with Austin Lindsay Photography. Today I had a friend call me up and ask me how to do, uh, how to remove a object from a background so they could put a glow behind it for an advertisement. And in this case, the object's a, a forerunner. So I thought I'd just make a little tutorial and show him and everybody else how I would do it. And that's the cool thing about Photoshop is there's quite a number of ways to do just one thing. So here's how I would do it. So what I did is I took my pen tool and I outline the whole object and then when you're done you right click and click make selection and I have my feather radius to one pixel just because it looks a little bit cleaner and click OK and then when you click command J it makes a whole new layer of what was selected so when you turn this layer off you can see that it's just cut out and then is what I'm gonna do is commit hit command J one more time and make two layers of it so this top layer is gonna be our image layer and the one below it's going to be our glow layer. So let's make a new layer below it. Um, that's going to be our background layer. We'll just do black. So we'll hit the uh, paint bucket tool. And there you go. We've got all black. So we're going to take this top layer and turn it off. And then we're going to select this second layer. And then while holding down control, just click on the layer itself over here. And it's going to bring your selection back. Um, and then we're going to take a brush. Um, and we're going to set it to just white because that's going to be our glow. You can you can use any color you want if you want a blue glow or a red glow or whatever. We're going to use white for this tutorial. And so there you go. There's your uh, your white glowing car. And we're going to hit c Control D to deselect it and go up to the filter menu and just give it some blur. I like using Gaussian blur. You can use whichever you want. You can use uh, motion blur and swipe it from side to side. You can do a lot of cool things. Um, so uh, we're going to set it to about 6, 6.4 pixels or whatever you want. Um, and it's probably a little bit easier if you turn on this layer um, and you can go back. I mean that looks fine right there. But we're going to go back here into Gaussian Blur and uh, just kind of bring it out just a little bit, make it a little more prominent there. Um, then you hit OK. And there you go. That's That's basically how I would do it. And you can then change your background color if you wanted to do you know let's say you want to put on a blue background you can move it to a blue purplish background over and then you can also just take your your image layer and your blur layer and you can copy them and move them onto um, the ad itself or wherever you like but that right there is how you do it and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments area and I'd be happy to answer them thanks for watching